Alright. Hey everybody. I'm all set gear up. It's gonna be shaky. I'm doing this by myself. I don't know. My camera guy is. And it is not. There's a sauna in here. But it's humid. So I want to show you the target we're going for. Huh? It's clean. Alright. We're gonna pump this out to 50 feet. Give it a look at that. Five, zero, enter, go. All right, there she goes, 50 feet. All right, so, there you go. What I'm gonna do, I've gotta be my own cameraman and shoot this. We're gonna shoot all the Excaliburs all of them at one time. Just gonna go through it and see what kind of target grouping that we can get at 50 feet. Um, these are the brand new Chiapa 7 inch fully rifled all the way down. I put my a real simple little red scope on there. I don't know if you can see that. All right, got it sighted in, I guess. We'll see what kind of a shot I am. So I'm gonna point the camera down range. Hopefully you can still see me do it, right? So here we go. Three shots, 50 feet, 45 ACP. That's pretty good. Do some more. Okay, hopefully y'all can hear me. Here is from where we were shooting at the range. This is the quick fire at uh, 50 feet. Multiple calibers, everything from 357, 40 caliber, all down the gamut. That's kind of the pattern that I was doing at 50 feet, really fast fire. And I'll show you how how that was. I, I could have shown you right there on spot. These are my little 22s, just a little off on that. I should have used some Kentucky windage to help me with that. This one at 50 feet, I peppered it with both the um, 20 gauge and 410, which gave me that pattern in the body, which is pretty good. And this is quick target acquisition with all the bigger calibers. Boom, boom, boom. I think only a couple strays hit. And this is where I was shooting um the 70 feet as far back as we could go um in the range and i was doing it on a rest with that little red dot so that's pretty good uh, that's pretty tight little grouping right there over here Boom. look at those babies and then this was from my first grouping this is the very first ones i fired and then i readjusted then I got this grouping, and then we got this grouping, which is pretty good. I mean, there's multiple shots that went through all this stuff, and uh, that was fast. That's pretty cool. But I was taking my time, really breathing slow, and one shot, one kill. Which, that's a body silhouette, so at 70 feet, that's a good good bit away oh. pretty far away 70 feet and this is if I were under duress and I had to do some speed shooting this is what I'm getting for fast target quick boom boom with the red dot scope I tell you what shooting by yourself what a pain in the neck find my camera man hmm. okay so this is a quick review I will promise you we'll do a much more professional job when the cameraman gets back in but I had everyone screaming shoot it shoot it shoot it I shot it it's amazing I mean I've been waiting eight months for it I know y'all have been waiting forever for it but this for those of you that don't know is the Excalibur survival shotgun it is the ultimate survival weapon system not just a gun but a system because with this gun comes the Excalibur 
that makes it a total system because at that point, whatever you scavenge and find, you're going to shoot out of this gun. Let's go over a couple of the features on this gun. Um, we'll do more photographic work that really gives you every little tiny detail. Now, just so you know, the red dot I put on there for the, uh, the firing, but I have fired it with just the regular scope, or I'm sorry, the uh, iron sight that came with it, uh, which I found coming out of the box, the 22 was spot on. It was amazing, it shot really well. Um, the other ones I had to work a little bit with, but got it down. So um, I think if I had a preference, I don't know if I would use a red dot scope because I think the accuracy you can get even better accuracy I think with a uh, more traditional scope I can get a little bit tighter um, these shots that I had here when you're out 70 feet the dot is as big as the head on the target so you know you can't get as tight a, a grouping I think I could have gotten even tighter if I had a different type of scope on there maybe a 10 25 power uh, I'm gonna do that and just see if I can get them even tighter than that the accuracy is there because these guys are seven inches now um, not like the old ones four and a quarter these are full seven inches rifled all the way to the end all right so this is much better than you can do with a handgun and I gotta tell you um, when we imported this in uh, through my gun dealer they looked at it and they said oh it's gonna knock your shoulder not even close. I shot a 50 cal slug out of this, uh, triple odd buck, um, and this stock really absorbed um, the impact. I was really amazed. This thing really was nice to shoot. Um, so the great thing is, is that when you know you don't have that crazy recoil, um, you're going to have a lot better accuracy because you're not going to be jerking, thinking, "Man, this is going to hurt when I pull the trigger." If you know it's not going to hurt, you're going to squeeze the trigger, not jerk the trigger. And that's what I did with this, and it worked really well. Um, I love the uh, the safety here. Uh, only wish that the F was red, um, but you know you get used to it. But it's in a really convenient uh, position for when you're getting ready to fire from safety to to, uh, to the firing position, which is really nice. And then I found it's just really simple to just put that, tuck it under your armpit right here, push the lever release, comes open really easy. Everything is right here. Now I can still utilize my right hand for clearing the weapon, slapping another round in, ready to go. The great thing about this is that when you do open the breech, it actually cocks and locks. Your, your weapon. So for speed shooting, I'm, I am able to actually do it about two times faster than I could with my um, little H&R down there because that had a cocking mechanism. You'd have to open it, clear your weapon, uh, you know, throw a new round in, close it, then cock it. This one, she's ready to go right now, right? On fire, go which is really nice. Love the Picatinny rails on here. Um, I'm possibly looking at putting a flashlight on the outside of this, which will be kind of cool. Now that I got it, I'm gonna pimp it out a little bit. Of course, I already put on my uh, custom sling. Um, I had an old Marine buddy of mine put together for me. So it's heavy duty leather strap with paracord. Can't have enough of that. Uh, you've got your cleaning kit right here. And you've got yourself some extra storage compartments for five extra 22 shots and a couple of uh, shotgun rounds just in case. Um, the two trigger system, I really do like. Um, your front trigger is going to be your 12 gauge shotgun. The rear trigger is going to be your 22. All right, 12 gauge, 22. Um, it breaks open real easy. One point that I will make to y'all, um, I don't think it's even in the instructions, but it will save you a pain in the neck uh, down the line. When you insert your Excalibur, hopefully you all can see this, when you put it in, whatever caliber it is, the thumb groove right here, the finger groove that's used to um, expel the old round, make sure that's facing upwards. If it's facing downwards, the retractor here won't catch it, okay? And this thing will slide all the way in. Uh, it won't go in all the way, but you know, getting things out, pulling it out afterwards. You know, see how when you put it in, how nicely that seeds. You've got yourself a little easy finger group that you can then pull out, insert another one. If I had it spun around, it would go flush with this, getting it out is pain in the neck. So remember, always keep this pointing upwards. It's a real simple, easy thing. Once that's in, 
there you go. I believe that's a 44 Magnum. Love shooting that one. That thing was amazing. I tell you, it was turning heads down there. Guys next to me did not know what I was shooting. I went from a pink, pink little 22 sound to a 44 Magnum. They couldn't understand what I was shooting. And this thing was right on, dead on accurate with uh, my shots. So um, it's quite impressive. Um, can't say enough about this thing. I'm gonna shoot some more stuff live for you um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, some, I like to do some more active target shooting. Um, maybe go on a hunt for some real game, show you what it can really do. It's just an excuse to get out and have fun with this thing and shoot it, right? <laughs> it's amazing. This is the coolest gun ever. I'm telling you what. Because, let's face it, if it, whatever it is, hits the fan, I've told you, it has nothing to do with how many guns you have. It has everything to do with, can you hit what you're aiming at? It only takes one shot to put whatever you're looking at at the end of the sights down. Um, and then after that point, it's about conserving your ammo and finding it. First, you gotta find it when you fire it through the Excalibur. Find it, fire it right here out of one system. 12 different calibers going from the 380, 9mm, 38 Special, 357, 45 ACP, 44 Magnum, 45 Colt, the 410, the 20 gauge, 22, and of course the 12 gauge shotgun. Those are the 12 most popular rounds sold here in the United States. This gun fires them all. Weighs 5.1 pounds, I think it is. It depends on what else you put on this thing. Um, you know, it's still going to be about two pounds under what most guns that you're going to be toting um, are. So, super lightweight, easy maneuver. Um, the stock distance, too, I think is really nice. It's, it's fairly, I don't have really long arms, but um, the way I shoot, it allows me to really tuck it in tight to my shoulder instead of out here, which is nice. So, I can get in, in and on target really quickly. That's why I want to go to a regular. I left my scope on. See? So we can run the batteries out. What are you going to do? Um, all right. Well, that's the first little quickie on this gun. Um, like I said, we're going to get, when my film guy gets back up, we're going to get some, um, some more shots. And uh, it's going to be hitting your gun stores uh, by the end of August. So if I were you, I'd be out there uh, pounding on the door saying, order me one so that when they come in off of the docks um, at the end of this month, you'll be able to be the first guy in line to be able to pick yourself up an Excalibur survival shotgun. Uh, it's gonna be the must have addition to everyone's arsenal. Whatever they may have already, this is a great backup. And come on, how can you argue $62 per caliber? That's just a, a must have. I'm just saying, you just gotta get it. Um, thanks very much for tuning in. It's Tim Ralston here at Gear Up. Thanks.